Now, it's still slightly annoying because he does, like, build up the armor. I'm trying to, like... I guess it doesn't matter what order I hit him in and with what. I mean, I want a cloak just for the shiv. Shiv neutral. I think we can probably acrobatics here. What's well, acrobatics or outmaneuver? If we acrobatics, we can't guarantee that we can play whatever we acrobatics. So I think we'll outmaneuver for next turn. Outmaneuver, cloak strike, shivs and neutralizes. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, no matter what, like, he's gonna tank, he's gonna block exactly the same amount of damage, no matter what order I do things in, as far as I can think. So. Alright, he's down to 18. We might be able to kill him next turn, depending on our draw. Um, like, say, a whole bunch of shivs. If you use an attack to only hit his block, it doesn't renew... Oh, that's right! Actually, I don't know if I realize that. So he only renews his block if he takes actual attack damage, not if he gets attacked. Footwork might be worthwhile here. I mean, I also like Predator. That's a lot of damage. I mean, it's 2 energy, but it's effectively 7.5 damage per energy, which ain't bad. Draw 2 more cards. Footwork, because it's power, doesn't clutter up your deck... So, um, and it just makes all your blocks better. That's what Dexterity is. Flying Knee is also fantastic because you get more energy the next turn. And it is 11, um, it's 11 damage per, per energy to use, which is pretty strong. Uh, especially in this upgraded form. And you get more energy. They're, I think they're all really good. I kind of agree that Predator may not make as much sense in the current deck. We've already got a couple of ways to get some draws. We have, we don't have, like, a relic that gives us extra energy because we didn't do that. Um, footwork's amazing for poison stalling, not for shivs. Yeah. I feel relics is important to survive. The thing is, we're using a lot of cloak and dagger. Footwork makes all our cloak and daggers better. Uh, dexterity just makes your blocks block that much more. I think, I think they're all good. So... I think we just flying knee. It's fine. So the question is, does this guy destroy us or not? That's the big question. You know, the fact that they're going to take splash damage... I think we might use the poison here on the big guy. These minions... So, this guy will occasionally resummon the minions. I don't strictly have to kill them. They will go away if I kill their leader. Hey, we got a random well-laid plants. So, we'll be able to retain one card. Which is grand. I think we're pretty clearly going to adrenaline here. Because we can't actually dump our, car, our hand without it. So we may as well do it first and see what our cards are. We can terror the boss. I don't have enough to cast everything, unfortunately. I think what we do is we neutralize the little guy. Because he's going to be dead at the start of my next turn. Because he's going to hit himself for three and then take three. Yeah, I need it to draw all out. I agree. We know we're going to want to tear this guy. Well, we also know we want to not take as much damage. I think we defend. I think we skip out maneuver. Oh, right, we get to retain something. In hindsight, shit. I should have outmaneuvered and retained this thing. I wasn't thinking about it because we don't have, like... That's not a normal card in our deck. I also might have wanted to poison him this turn. I think, actually, I should have. 
Oh, I should have outmaneuvered, because almost certainly I would have been able to dump my hand for the Masterful Stab. Oh! He armored everyone, so the little guy's not going to die. Automatically. I think I'm going to have to kill him. Well, 12 damage is enough to kill this guy. And he hits for more. Because that guy's still weakened. Ugh. That's a lot of fucking damage coming in, though. Holy Christ. I should have poisoned him last turn. Um, I think we're just going to go in a defense spree here. I'm trying to think of too many things. This is what happens when I play chess every time. There's like the obvious thing that you, you need to do. And then you start thinking of everything else. And then you forget the obvious thing. Like the fact that I spent an energy. <sighs> Honestly, part of me thinks I should just retain the survivor instead of the masterful stab. Because there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to cast it next turn. So we're at four hit points. He's alone. Um, I don't know if that's going to be summoning more. Nightmare the Blade Dance? I think it would be Nightmare all, all out attack in case he summons more dudes. You'll summon more dudes on this one? Next turn. So if he's going to summon more dudes... I'm just going to Nightmare the all-out attack. So I'll have three all-out attacks in my hand next turn. It's a horrible idea. I know I won't have any card draws. Just do the flying knee. People want me to flying knee. I guess it does generate a lot of power. Sure. Um, let's retain the all-out attack, though. Copying Blade Dance would have been okay, too, for the extra damage. That might have been better. <clears throat> Alright. He is going to kill himself when he attacks me, but how much defend do I have? Luckily, this guy's not attacking me. I guess I'll just cloak and dagger. So he's going to kill himself. See, I'm not... I think I'm still okay with that. We could have done, like, chain flying knees, but it's going to be okay. Let's keep this flying knee. He won't kill me. I have armor. Now he's building up a lot of strength. He's probably going to want to hit me for a fuck ton of damage here. Um, can I kill him this turn? Yes, I think the answer is yes. Definitely some misplays there. Bag of Preparation! At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. So we're going to draw four extra cards at the start of combat. If we can draw Adrenalines and stuff, that's good. I love Die, Die, Die. You only get to use it once, but it's good. Bane, we're not going to be using. Storm a Shield. Discard your hand. Add one shift to your hand for each card discarded. Obviously, that is your shift tech right there. I think we'll Storm. I do like Die, Die, Die. So obviously, um, I can't risk this being a fight. So we're going to go here into another elite fight. We're still not going to have a ton of hit points, but... My god. We did heal a little bit extra from our flower, though. So Or flower. Feather. What is this elite fight? Oh, this one is probably... <sighs> this is so bad. Oh my god! We did get a free wraith form, though. Good god, this book is great. Normally this costs three. 
Like, I like the idea of it, but it's so expensive. But now, whenever we play a skill, deal three damage to a random enemy. This guy will put a bunch of wounds in my deck. He's a jerk face. This is Rip, I think. I think so, too. <clears throat> Wait, do we only have... Do we, can we even survive one round of being attacked here? He's gonna hit. They're gonna hit for twenty-seven. I have, um, I have eighteen. Oh no, I've got a bunch of hit points, so I can survive one turn. Die, die, die! Might have saved you. Yeah, I love die, die, die a lot. So I think we've got to full out defend. We could quick slash first for a draw. We might be able to get a weakness thing, and we'd still have enough to play all three of our defensive cards. Okay, I'm going to quick slash this guy. I know he's got more hit points, but I don't like the fact that he adds wounds. There's our all-out attack, but one all-out attack's not going to be enough. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and defend, defend, survivor. And I do actually have the energy for that this time. Um, what do I discard? Because what do I want to retain? I probably want to retain accuracy. I'll just drop the strike. I'm going to win it. Oh! I can't retain. I don't have that. Fuck. <sighs> like, the fact that it's not a card in my deck, I was starting to think, like, it's a relic or something. No. I forgot it was, like, a, a thing triggered by a relic. It's not the effect of the relic itself. Oh, are you seriously all attacking again? So you're going to attack for 27 damage. Alright, well, I'll survive. I can't kill one, can I? I don't have accuracy running, so... So, no. So, I'm definitely going to Flying Knee. Part of me is thinking... I think we Blade Dance. It's going to be 8 damage as opposed to the Strike. And whenever you play a skill. But this is a skill... And it hits the right target. Short by one. And we don't have a potion to help. I still think we're not going to survive to the boss. Just on the basis of hit points, but we'll see. We've got a nightmare, but... Uh... Is that the car? my car repaired. No. Um. Hang on. We have... We could nightmare something, but... Then we die. We technically have enough to live. There you go. If I cloak and dagger, then I won't take any damage. And it can shift some more. So next turn he'll have two hit points. Can you really call that living? Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, no! Entangle! Fuck. So I can't attack this turn. Luckily he's not attacking me for very much. Um, Well, I'll cloak and dagger. So I can't use my shiv, but I'll, I'll keep the shiv in the deck. I suppose that's fine. And at least we've got a defense, so that we can... We're not going to die here. And the random attacks killed that dude, which is wonderful. Alright. Well, we got it. So, two attacks. Three hit points. We got a whetstone. Upgrades two random attacks. Two strikes. Yeah, alright. Uh, poison potion, and we can add... I think we want to backflip. I think so. We're really going to look for a little bit more um, draw generations. Blur is good too. It is like, I mean, they're both the same amount of block and block can, can, can persist. A lot of people want the blurs. The block persisting 
can mean a little extra on a good turn. Blur's the best card in the game. I don't know if that's true, but let's do it. Okay, give me a really good artifact, man. Happy Flower. Eh, extra energy every three turns. Actually, it would have been even better with the uh, the backflip here. Um, so, what's the safest route here? I think it's... Oh, either one we end up with three encounters. Yeah, no matter what, we have three normal fights. And a question mark, which could be an extra fight. The path on the left gives us the extra campfire, so I guess we have to do that. Two normal fights in a row with three hit points. I was going to say, I'm going to use poison right away, but of course they both have an artifact. Oh, we got a free tools of the trade. That is a powerful card. So, I'm thinking I'll neutralize this guy to pop his artifact, and then I'll poison him. I mean, we're probably dead anyway. Hold on, how much damage? So, I don't, I may not want to use neutralize here. So, I have eight cards in my hand. So, if I go Accuracy, Storm of Steel, I'll have six shivs. Each one of them do 9 damage. So, 63 damage? Yeah, okay. Six, 54. Whatever, math is hard. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly good at math on, like, paper. I'm really bad at head arithmetic. I'm terrible with head arithmetic. So, yeah, I guess we won't be using the poison. So we overkill him by four, but that's okay. We take some of the armor. His first ability is just going to be to armor up even more, which is fine. Never do math live. Yeah, but I've got um, a, one of my friends that I play, like, board games and D&D with every Tuesday. He's, like, insane. Everyone at the table is just at all. Like, and I play with a lot of really smart people, way smarter than me. And then there's this one guy who just, like, he can just number everything instantly. It's really good. Whenever we're like, someone's taking damage in D&D, &D, we just sort of look at him and he just tells us what the answer is. Select a card. Oh yeah, right, because this is, um, whatever, I don't remember what the power is called. Draw a card, discard a card at the beginning of your turn. He's going to hit me for 10. I've got a cloak and dagger and a defend, which I'll probably need to keep. Well, we get rid of the strike, I'd say. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. So we'll start by adrenalizing. Well, I mean, it does exhaust itself, so there's something to be said about not instantly adrenalizing, to be honest. Because I know I'm going to have to Cloak and Dagger and defend. I mean, the only thing better from an Adrenaline would be another Cloak and Dagger. Which we do have in here. It does give this, you know, yeah. No, we'll do it. Because that gives it the energy to do more. The Blade Dance is a fair amount of damage. Okay, well, I'm still going to Cloak and Dagger. And I'm still going to defend. Unless I want to fly knee. Or, sorry, not flying knee, quick slash. Defend's going to eat one. Blade dance we definitely want to do. And then I think we fly knee instead of quick slash. It's one less damage, but more energy next turn. Drawing the extra card doesn't really do anything for us right now. Because I got three actions, and one's going to be Blade Dance, one's going to be Defend, so I'll fly Knee instead of Quick Slash. I'm okay with that. So, now I have enough Defense. Clearly you're going to get Shivved. We are going to Blade Dance, because it's 18 damage. And then we'll fly Knee. Hey, it's our first Tipsplosion of the day! Thank you! I will check your name in a second. Uh, where's my window? It's over here. It's Irish Runner! Hey, thank you very much, Irish! Hey, Quill, do you ever do giveaways? I have an extra Civ 6 key, plus Australian Vikings, but none of my friends can use it. I would donate the key to you if you're able to do something with them. Yes, we do sometimes do giveaways on the channel, as long as they're actual, like, Steam keys, not just, like, a thing to gift on non-Steam. Absolutely, you can email me, quill18 at quill18.com, or send a message to Essentia, and uh, when we get a few piled up, we tend to do some giveaways. Thank you very much for that. Um, but... but, but, but this nightmare is so goddamn expensive. Alright, he's going to hit me for 20, unless we kill him. So 
So this is next turn. It doesn't really save our ba- Are we gonna get ripped here? What the f- Are you serious? Because, I mean, we can only block for six. And we can't kill him. I mean, we can dare and just take a stack off his thing. Boo! Alright, so I mean, the reason we got in that situation isn't that we misplayed this particular fight. It's that there was, you know, misplays leading onto it. It's one of those things, these tiny little things that snowball, um, and it can be hard to pinpoint what the, uh, the errors were in there. But let's give this another go here. Hopefully we get a poison build this time. And yeah, the potion can't heal, hit because he's got the artifact. Uh, hello again, how's it going? Um, I guess we'll transform another card. What do we get? Finisher. Okay, so Finisher works great with another Shiv build, I guess. Um, where's the elites? They're way up here. One there, one there. Either one leads to another elite. So, of these branches, I think we go with, like, the more question marks. Boom, boom. We'll have to decide if we want to go to the shop. So here we hit shop question mark. Here we hit two question marks into there, which could be fights, which might be very bad. Um, leading into uh, here. If we go this branch here, if these question marks end up being fights and we're weakened, we can always decide to go to the fireplace instead of the elite. So yeah, left and then to the right. Is this about the same? No, this is better. Oh, we hit this guy right away. Big bucket of hit points and a fair amount of damage. So we can use, so that we can survive her to soak all the damage. Strike, strike. Alright. Be on the lookout for Footwork Crest Blur. Mmm. I do like the turtle build. It's usually what I do with, like, poisons and stuff. Um, I mean... Strike, strike, that's 12. And then this would hit for another 12. That's 24. God damn it, he survived with one hit point. I'm going to try to avoid taking any damage. This is one of the big differences between uh, the Ironclad and him. The Ironclad, you sort of have a budget of six damage you can take every uh, every combat. Uh, this is going to be quite good, because this is an extra attack here with the Neutralizer. Strike, strike. So that's going to be an 18-point finisher. So, here's the thing. The finisher... Like, the slice is, is sort of a shiv that doesn't get better. I do like the idea of poison builds, too. Thing is, Bane is, even if you don't have poison, it's still a pretty good amount of uh, damage. We could take Bane with the hope that we're going to get, like, uh, noxious fumes or whatever. Hmm. Some people are saying take slice. Other people are saying slice is probably the worst card in the game. Slice is easily the best card out of these three. <laughs> I love how no one can agree anything. Bane isn't good enough to put in a deck without poison. Yeah, I mean, we can probably expect to get some. Bane, invest in the future. I kind of like the idea... You know what? We're going to just take Bane and just try to get other cards that are better than Deadly Poison. Deadly Poison adds up a fair bit, but it's not very quick. Just skip. I do. Want, I would love to go a Poison deck for a difference. The thing is, I have to say, the finisher is pretty good. Benefit of skipping is it keeps your deck a little smaller so that you get your high quality, like, notable cards. It's too soon to, to skip. We're just gonna, fuck it, we're just gonna take Bane. It's fine. It's fine. We'll take poison stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna force it. We're gonna just take the extra attack for now. Uh, we are gonna go for a, ooh. Are we, we're going to a shop, right? 
Yes, we are. Then I will take this. We're going to receive a relic because at the shop we can remove regret from our deck. Bam. What do we get? We got Kunai. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. All right, maybe Slice would have been good there, but I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go to the shop. I didn't fuck that up, did I? Because it means no question mark, but we're still going to get a question mark there. And we have to hit the shop to remove this. Yeah, we're going to be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and remove regret. Am I? Let's just remove regret. Let's get that masterful strike that we never get to use. Noxious is so good. I guess I could have removed later. Uh, apparently, I can remove now. Maybe I should have just done that. I'm gonna get rid of a block. We're going to keep a high degree of attacks right now for the finisher activation. These guys are so annoying. You want to hit them as hard as possible first. Can we just kill one? So he's effectively got 15 hit points. 7. Uh, 13. Yeah, 16. I think I'm just going to do that. Rather than just defend. Do that, that'll activate his armor. And then, yeah, I can just survivor, discard. Oh, yeah, and we use three attacks, so we get bonus to our dexterity, so our blocks are better. Do a block poison build? I mean, we sort of do. We'd have to, we want to use more poison attacks. The thing with deadly poison is that it's a skill. If we get a bunch of, like, poison stabs, it sort of combos with a few things that we've got going on here. Between the kunai and the finisher. I don't know. Anyway. Strike. Strike. Strike some more. Lahood! Thank you very much! Contribution to the whiskey and chocolate fund there. Hey, Aquil. I've been watching your videos for a while, yet been harrowed by not being able to support. Now I have a job, and I'm able. So here you go. Cheers from Sweden. Tak! Thank you very much, Lahood. Appreciate it. Um... I think I'm just going to skip this completely. And actually quite good. We don't have any shift tech yet and we're we're going to try to we're going to try to force some sort of like poison thing. And at this point it does feel like we're forcing it. I'm probably playing this one too fast and way too loose. There was some effort put in the last one, but that's okay. So, we're going to go for an elite, get ourselves a relic. This is a whole big pile of hit points in these guys. What are they doing? Okay, they're not opening with everyone attacks, which is nice. Um Neutralize is just going to get played for damage right now, which is fine. Um, so I should probably just start damaging the guy with the least amount of hit points. And I will Survivor, sacking a defend, so we don't take any damage. And then I will Strike and finish for 12. Blood. A couple of sets of days. Woo, that's a lot of attacks. If I use all three attacks on one guy, I can kill him. If I do that, I take eight less damage. Whereas if I double defend, then I take 12 less damage. It doesn't progress me forward. I think we go for the kill here. Because we do have a campfire. And we're not that low. I know, with defense, we take four less damage. But this way, we do kill someone. So. Um. Wow. What a terrible draw. So I take no damage. And I'm going to finish this guy for zero. Defend more and upgrade? Yeah, probably. I see what you're saying. The more, like, if we defend super hardcore so we don't take damage, we don't have to rest at campfires. Spend more time upgrading. 
We have a really small deck, so those dazes are really hurting us. Well, I guess we're going to um do that and take eight. I don't want to discard the dazes, because the dazes uh, get removed from your deck if they're in your hand at the end of the turn. So there's no reason to discard. Uh, I cannot kill you. Right! I forgot I got an extra deck, so I only need the one defend. So, I mean, at least we'll do that. Yeah, the dazes get removed. We could have played another card. I guess maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to take this phone call. Sorry, guys. Awesome. They let it ring twice and then hung up. It's okay. They're going to call me on a cell phone in two seconds. My car's in the shop today. So... And they're calling me to tell me they're idiots and incompetents. I'm sure. Wow. Okay, well. See? Told you. One sec.